We all know that it may take some time for the bivalent COVID vaccine to be available in our country. We are pretty worried, especially now with the XBB and the XBC variants have entered the country. It is therefore recommended that we use the bivalent COVID vaccine as booster shots to protect us against XBB and other subvariants now spreading worldwide. The question is, how safe is this new bivalent booster? What are then the potential side effects of this new bivalent booster shots? Let's watch this. The question about side effects of this new bivalent vaccine has been in my mind, especially that I'm planning to get it anytime soon when I travel to the U.S. before the end of the year. With the data from the U.S. since the launch, I am pretty reassured, however, that they're not expected to be much different from what you may have experienced with previous vaccine or booster doses. I agree that there are no firm data as of now yet. The reformulated shots from Pfizer and Moderna are bivalent, which means they target both the original COVID strain and the Omicron's BA.5 and BA.4 subvariants. Meaning, this new bivalent booster shot is simply like giving two vaccines in one shot. So biologically speaking, I wouldn't expect any new or untoward side effects, which we don't know as of yet, the severity or the safety profile of these shots to be as different from the current mRNA vaccines and boosters. So the data we have simply were based on safety data from the original COVID vaccines, as well as the safety data from the updated formulations that are merely a change or a reformulation of the originals. Also evaluated from the data and examined were clinical trials of earlier versions of the bivalent boosters targeting the Omicron BA.1, which are no longer circulating. So the FDA apparently just directed the manufacturers to make a booster instead now targeting the prevalent strains of BA.4 and BA.5 spike proteins. So there will be some subtle differences in mutations occurring between BA.1 and BA.4, BA.5 spike protein sequences. And therefore, we actually do not anticipate any differences in terms of safety or reactogenicity based on these limited mutations. Altogether, therefore, we have the evidence of its safety and have listed some potential side effects that you should expect to get with one of these new boosters. So in the clinical trial presented by Pfizer and Moderna for the earlier bivalent shots, what were seen in both clinical trials is that the most commonly reported side effects were seen within seven days of receiving the shot which included pain, fatigue, headache, muscle pain, chills, joint pain, redness and swelling of the injection site, including fever. So researchers also reported no cases of pericarditis or myocarditis. So now looking at the list, they all sound and look familiar. Why? Because they are exactly the same side effects that came with the original formulations. Likewise, the data showed that the side effects were pretty very mild and no severe side effects were observed. For me, therefore, this data compilation of data is pretty good news and reassuring for me who I'm planning to get the bivalent booster. So for those planning, therefore, to get the bivalent booster shots, you are only eligible for the new boosters if you've completed the primary vaccination. Serious meaning most people will already have received at least two doses ahead of the time. 
Now, the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine by Valent is authorized as a single booster dose in individuals six years old and above, while the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine by Valent booster is authorized as a single booster dose in individuals five years of age or older. Now, the question, if you just got COVID-19, should I still get boosted with the new bivalent booster? Now, the answer is if you had a prior COVID-19 infection, then we advise that you should wait until you have fully recovered from your acute illness and are out of isolation. The CDC also advises that we wait at least three months after COVID-19 vaccine to get this booster, but Again, you should have completed the primary COVID vaccine, COVID vaccine to be eligible. The updated booster dose that you receive does not need to be from the same manufacturer that made the vaccine that you receive for your primary vaccination or previous booster with the monovalent COVID-19 vaccine. So I hope that this short video is reassuring to most, especially those who have received bivalent vaccines or who are planning to receive these new bivalent booster shots. So if some of you will be traveling soon and it's eligible to get the booster dose, I would advise for you to do so, especially if you belong to the high risk category. I hope to get mine soon and hopefully before the end of the year. Again, this is Dr. Jerry Tan. Stay safe. See you again soon.